the truck last night where Allah is sending of a reminder in the multimedia of dunya and what people want to understand of the illusion of this dunya, what they call the matrix. And the importance for us is that Ayatul Kareem Allah says, this dunya is but an illusion and what's happening within this illusion is that shaitan is overtaking insan. And the more that shaitan operates within insan and takes over human beings then the devil within calls the devil from the outside. And the more that people give themselves to that negative energy and negative force he overtakes their hearing. And then he yokes them and puts signs upon them, he takes over their seeing and he yokes their eyes and puts signs over them because everything that he does he wants to mark his servants. He takes over their breathing and then puts a sign upon them, takes over their hands, their feet until they are fully subjected to him and that's what was being shown in all of this popular culture that the devil is everywhere, the evilness has overtaken everything and it's but one instant that they immediately change into what they're supposed to be. And that's what was very unique in these modern media and what is showing in them that everywhere they went and operated then the satanic and evil force immediately was everywhere because that negativity has already overtaken people. And it's but an instant in which shaitan overtakes all of their faculties, their hearing, their seeing, their touch, their feel, even their taste. The, the taste of what they eat is of a satanic and a lower reality. All of that Allah is showing for His creation. Those whom are not understanding in the houses of worship but they're amongst the people of the street and going into dunya Allah loves them too, they're His creation. All creation was made with Allah's Divinely love and He shows to them that, look, look, do you see how they've been overtaken by their negative energy and negative forces? And so alhamdulillah as a reminder for us that and the 40 and the gentlemen who are posting the 40 rules of love, every one of those you'll find in these sobats. And the depth of, of those 40 rules and the depth of Mawlana Shaykh's teachings that are all emanating from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad is all the haqqaiqs and realities of Holy Qur'an and Holy Hadith. But do they have eyes to see and do they have ears to hear that we find that reality and that reality is all around us. That as we are trying to fight the inner demon and take a path of struggle and not fighting outside, not criticizing outside, that's why this, these physiologies of Sufism and this science of Sufism is such an immense reality because if somebody at the masjid just says, you know, conquer your anger and make istighfar, that's not the solution, that's not going to happen. If everybody could just make istighfar and not do the thing again, not do their anger again, not give in to bad characteristics and bad characteristic is not anger only. Some people may be listening say, I don't, I don't think I have any bad characteristics. The bad characteristics are too many to mention. Anger is the most dangerous of them but people's bad characteristics can be stubbornness, they're stubborn. They don't want to listen, they don't want to follow guidance, they don't listen to anything. They're like a potato that is uh, growing into a couch, they don't move on anything. People can be dramatic and everything for them where Mawlana Shaykh would describe they get drunk on a grape. Everything is, is, is of a drama and they like the drama, they thrive within the drama. So it means these characteristics they're describing are ruinous traits. 
And if these ruinous traits are not destroyed and if you don't understand the science of them, very difficult to come out of that. So it's not a path if you just make istighfar and don't do it again, that's like being in quicksand. How can you take yourself out of quicksand and we've discussed them over many years. If tomorrow you're walking and you fall into a quicksand, you can't take yourself out. The more actually you struggle within the quicksand, the faster you're going down. And that's why Allah granted for us a solution. But again ears to hear and eyes to see that when you are an oppressor to yourself, jawka, go to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and make istighfar, make your forgiveness, ask your forgiveness. That's why then only are teaching that it's not that we fall into difficulties and ruinous traits and say that we're just going to lift ourselves out of them but the whole system that they give to us. And the whole najad that Allah has granted to us is the immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad And that by loving Prophet we seek out the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad We condition our heart for that immense love. As a result it's not happy with anything other than that love. When your heart has been conditioned with the immense love of Sayyidina Muhammad you cannot listen to anything other than that love. You cannot sit in the presence of anything other than that love because it's such an immense love, such a beatific love and such a purified love as a result the heart itself knows that, oh no, no, this is not that and it leaves and it wants to push the body to leave an association that is not from that reality. Means that is a sign of our salvation that Allah is showing the immense power of this muhabbat and love of Prophet then the heart begins to guide us to Muhammadiyoon, those whom represent that love and that when you hear them and sit with them, listen to them, learn from them, associate with them, you feel the proximity and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and that that's the immense najad, that is the immense salvation, that is the rope of Allah that immediately is lowered to the servant by virtue of their presence, their companionship, their zikrs, their awrads, immediately we grab that rope and begin to lift from the quicksands of difficulty. If you listen to their guidance but if you're just hearing it and not acting upon it becomes difficult. So alhamdulillah that Allah is, is giving all of these realities and all of this marketing and the intensity of the marketing that is occurring upon the earth is Allah's sign of love and muhabbat that He loves His creation and wants them to leave badness and come towards goodness. And that's why awliyaullah begin teaching and propagating and pushing and that's why it has such an immense reward to support the propagation and the pushing of spiritual teachings. When we promote and push everywhere these spiritual teachings you gain the ridha and satisfaction of the Lord Almighty. Allah happy with those servants when He loves His creation, He loves those whom are trying to serve and enlighten the creation, bringing them from darkness and into the light, bringing them back into the light means that this is an immense path of, of, of blessings and immense path of realities. And we said that even from those 40 rules that the gentlemen are promoting every day, they're posting beatific pictures of Shaykh Nazim with one of the rules. Look and read those 40 rules and you see all of the Nashmani teachings are within those realities. Means that this way is a way of ishq and muhabbat. That anytime we, we love we are entering into paradise realities and anytime we begin to hate we're moving towards the, the fiery and demonic reality. So our way is based on ishq and muhabbat, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad the love of those Divine associations 
for within their association you find the reflection of Allah within their associations. You find the love of Allah within that association. By means of those associations the servant draws again even nearer to the presence of Allah and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad So many things that these medias are showing to us the importance, the immensity of the love and that without that love they cannot be complete. Their real power cannot dress them without that love and that's why this path is, is such a powerful path. And the way that Mawlana Shaykh would talk of ish and love and muhabbat and the reality of the rose and the reality of the fragrance of the rose, it's that love that is drawing us towards the paradise realities. It's that love that empowers us and gives us a power to be good, a power to, to satisfy Allah Means if we're doing it because we've been told to do it, the nafs is always going to be fighting and rebelling. But when you build this love and you say that, I love you Ya Rabbi Allah, I love Sayyidina Muhammad and I don't want to disappoint Everything we do is that we're looking at Prophet and asking him not to disappoint his reality. That with your faiz and your nazar and your support, I'm capable of all things. But if you should turn your gaze from me, I will be cast in utter darkness. With that ishq and that muhabbat, everything that we do is to have good character. How could you let Sayyidina Muhammad down? How could you do something that he's looking at you? And that to feel a shame means that that is an ocean of, of, of love and muhabbat that pulls us to that reality, that draws us to that reality and only that love and only that muhabbat has the immense bond, has an atomic bond. It's not a bond from your mind. But with love your entire atomic reality, every element and every atom of your soul locks onto the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad It's like H2O, it's the two H's that stay together that bring out the reality of oxygen. That with that bond of love and ishq if Allah grants that قُلِينِ كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِ If we took a path really in which to follow Prophet and followed with sincerity, followed with ishq, followed with all our practices to fight the inner devil that that devil comes within me, blocks me from the Muhammadan reality, blocks me from the Muhammadan characteristic. And you fight with such a fear, fierceness because of your love for Prophet it's that love that gives us the strength to fight that inner demon, to shut him off and, sh and, and extinguish his poisonous and toxic reality within my being. It's like a mercury and a poison within me. If I let that mercury to rise I become completely toxic. As a result I'm cast into a distance and separation from the reality of Prophet because Allah described the haqq and the false they don't go together. People can't do bad things, can't do bad actions, can't have bad characteristics and think that they have that proximity, that nearness. Means they can be very, very far away but to, to draw to the qurb, to the nearness, to the inner, inner sanctuary of that muhabbat and love. It requires a purified heart, a purified character. Only with that love and that ishq they draw near into that reality. 
And through that reality every support and every power begin to dress upon their reality. That power, that reality then pushes out throughout their soul and to anyone who comes across them. And that what Prophet described when Allah in Ayatul Kareem, فِيكُمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ That Prophet is amongst you, is within you, is all around you. Just allow that love to enter within the heart and within the soul. With that ishq and that love and that muhabbat then human beings and insan can reach towards their Divinely power and their Divinely grace and their Divinely reality. Only through that love yuhibbukumullah that Allah then completes Ayatul Kareem فَتَّبِيُونِي وَيُحِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ That Allah says, and I will, Qafur Rahim, I will forgive your sins and I will love you. That Divine Love when it dresses the servant it bonds them to the reality and to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad When Allah grants you, حِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ That I will love you. Tell them if they want my real love, everyone thinks they love the Divine. If they want my real love, run to your prophetic soul, run to your prophetic reality, run to your prophetic perfection. That you are the, the Prophet that brings the perfection and the love of all the Prophets of Allah all the books of Allah all the angels of Allah all the paradise realities of Allah You complete my creation by them loving you, they love all the Prophets. You know when somebody comes to Islam they come with the love of what they have and they increase it with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and they become complete. If you go to other paths they tell you, no, no take your book away and take your Prophet away, come to us. That's not complete. That's like somebody saying, cut your finger and come to me. The completion and the reality of this Islam is they complete their journey. That whatever love you have bring it, here's Holy Qur'an. Whatever love you have for whatever Prophet you have bring it and here's the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and today you become complete in your, in your belief and in your religion. Islam is the completion of all faith and all love and muhabbat of all prophecy. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us in these holy nights of the immensity of that light and the immensity of that ish that is a salvation for us to reach to where we have to reach of immense oceans of beauty and love and muhabbat. And only through that love can we truly begin to feel the presence of Allah If we're too busy staying within the ocean of fighting devils and fighting inner anger and inner character, inner flaws, we're being distracted from the reality of truly feeling Allah's Divine Love. Imagine the servants of love that when they reach to an ocean in which Allah grants them their nafsa radiyan wal mardiyan means that their souls that are content, the souls that are, are dressed with Allah's rida and satisfaction, the, the souls that are in the oceans of contentment from Allah they see and feel Allah within everything within the embrace and the love of that Divine the Presence. We described many times before they feel the love and the muhabbat of Allah And that's what's important when they look at Allah's creation they hear, they hear the creatures of Allah as if Allah is praising through their tongues, that praising Himself through His creation and the immensity of their love, the immensity of their beauty, the beauty of the flowers when they release their fragrance, everything that's beautific in these oceans of creation that can only be felt with the soul that is not struggling against devils but is 
push that struggle down but is now moving towards the oceans of Allah's oceans of satisfaction and rahmah and mercy. We pray that Allah address us from the immensity of these lights, the immensities of these blessings inshaAllah. Subhan rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.